Hello everyone, welcome back to our channel. UGC has just released the application form for June 2024 exam and there are certain significant changes in the exam pattern. So, this video is for all those who are a bit worried about the recent announcement from UGC on April 20, 2024. In this video, we shall discuss the entire structure for June 2024 exam as announced by UGC and we shall cover all important details including the paper pattern, syllabus and newly introduced offline mode of examination. So, if you are feeling a bit unsure about what's going on, don't worry, we have got you covered. Stick around and we'll walk you through it all. And hey, if you're new here, Make sure to hit that subscribe button and ring the bell icon so you never miss out on any updates about the UGC NET exam. Alright friends, allow us to discuss the recent notice from UGC about the UGC NET exam which was released on 20 April 2024. To make things super easy to understand, we have split this video into 8 sections, covering each and every aspect discussed by UGC in the latest notification, so ensure that you watch this video till the end. Section 1 Application Form Date But before we jump into these two sections, let us first discuss the important dates and the schedule given by UGC for the upcoming examination. Get ready to mark your calendars because the UGC NET June 2024 examination is officially scheduled for June 16th, 2024. That's right, mark that date down. Now, if you are planning to appear for the exam, here's what you need to know about the application process. You can start submitting your online application from April 20th and you can submit it till 11.50 p.m. of 10th of May. So, you have close to 20 days to submit your application form. But wait, there's more. The deadline for submitting your examination fees is May 11th. So, make sure you don't miss it. Now, we know that sometimes mistakes happen and that's okay. If you need to make any corrections to your application, don't worry, the correction window will be open from May 13th to May 15th, giving you a chance to fix any errors before it's too late. So there you have it folks, mark your calendars, get those applications in and remember those important dates. Section 2 Application Form Fees Alright, let's talk about the application fees for the UGC NET June 2024 exam. As you can see on the screen, for general category candidates, the fee is set at 1150 rupees. If you fall under the EWS, OBC or NCL category, it's 600 rupees for you. And for those in the SC, ST, PWD or third gender category, the fee is 325 rupees. Remember, it's super important to pay attention to these fees and make sure you are submitting the correct amount based on your category. So, keep that in mind when you're getting ready to fill out your application. Section 3. Date of Examination As you can see in the schedule, there's been a change in the examination date. Originally set for June 10th, it's now moved to June 16th, 2024. This adjustment gives you an extra 6 days to prepare and bring your A-game on exam day. So, make the most of this extra time to ensure you're fully ready to tackle the test with confidence. Section 4. Mode of Examination Now that we have discussed details about the schedule and the application fees, let us jump to the most important section of today's video which will deal with the major change as declared by UGC for the UGC NET June 2024 examination and that is change in the mode of examination. Given that most students often worried about the issues regarding usage of computer and the breaking down of the system in the middle of the exam, UGC has made it simple for you all. Say goodbye to the computer-based test that is CBT format because the UGC NET exam is going old school with offline OMR sheets. Yes, you heard it right. After rolling with CBT since 2019, it's back to the good old OMR format, just like the old days before 2018. Pretty cool, right? Now we don't have to worry about the issues with regards to poor navigation on screen. The exam is going to be in the traditional format, making it easy for the students to attempt the exam. Offline exam comes with its own demerits. Back in 2018, when the exam happened offline, a lot of students could not clear UGC NET exam because of silly errors. 
that is they made in filling the omr sheet some students forgot to fill the bubbles in omr sheet properly while others forgot to sign their omr sheet because of which their omr was rejected and they were disqualified those of you who are worried about this new mode of exam worry not we are going to be releasing a new series of lectures which will be available free of cost on youtube wherein we shall acquaint you to offline exam pattern and will also share essential tips and strategies to ensure that you don't make these mistakes so don't forget to subscribe to this channel for this brand new video series section 4 syllabus now that we have gone through discussion on the offline mode let us now talk about the unchanged aspects of ugc net june 2024 examination This section will definitely feel like a comforting hug. So, take a breath and stay with us because it is time for some good news. First things first, the syllabus for the UGC net exam is staying the same. This means no stressing over learning new topics or fretting about changes in the curriculum. Still confused about the syllabus? Don't worry, we have got you covered. If you wish to understand the syllabus of UGC net examination in detail, all you have to do is head over to our website which is a great source of this information we assure you that once you take a closer look at the modules on our website you will be able to understand the syllabus of ugc net examination and not just that we offer online course and test series for ugc net paper 1 as well as for ugc net paper 2 english literature these courses consist of animated video lectures high quality pdf notes and mock test series covering the detailed syllabus and are specially designed to boost your chances of acing the upcoming UGC net exam with flying colors seriously our courses are like turbo boosts for your preparation all you need to do is pick up that phone and dial the number flashing on your screen and our team will be more than happy to provide you the course details yes it's that easy so why wait let's kick start your journey to success together section 5 pattern of examination talking about the pattern of examination it is the same as it was previously the test will consist of two papers paper 1 and paper 2 both the papers will consist of objective multiple type questions paper 1 will consist of 50 questions and paper 2 will carry 100 questions just like before if your answer is correct you will score 2 marks thereby the total number of questions is 150 and the maximum marks will be 300 scores section 6 negative marking moving further we know how for a while there's been a bit of worry floating around about whether the exam might have negative marking but guess what you can breathe a sigh of relief because things haven't changed in that department yes that's right there's still no negative marking so you can relax and take your shot at all those tricky questions without stressing out who knows your gut feeling might just lead you to the right answer so keep calm stay focused and trust your instincts while you are tackling those questions section 7 medium of question paper let us now talk about the medium of question paper the medium will be english and hindi except for subjects that pertains to any other language for instance if you are sitting for ugc net english paper 2 exam then the question paper will have questions written in english section 7 eligibility criteria furthermore if we talk about the eligibility criteria it is a big relief guys that there can be no change seen with regards to the same as was the case previously a candidate from general category has to score 55% in the master's degree of the concerned subject and the rest of the categories will get 5% relaxation making the eligibility score to be 50% a new eligibility criteria has now been introduced wherein a student who is in four year bachelor's degree program can also sit for ugc net exam such candidate should score minimum of 75% in their bachelor course a relaxation of 5% is allowed to the rest of the categories section 8 age limit now it is time to discuss about the age limit and relaxation as proposed by ugc to put it in simple words a candidate should not be more than 30 years of age as on 1st june 2024 to be eligible for grf women and rest of the categories get a relaxation of 5 years thereby making it 35 years of bar for them On the other hand there is no age limit for a candidate to appear for net conclusion 
So that is all about the updates given by UGC about UGC NET June 2024 examination. So before we end the video, let's wrap things up with a quick recap. We have covered a lot of details about UGC NET June examination. We discussed the important dates, including the examination date, which is June 16th, 2024. Moving on, we talked about the application fees, categorized based on different groups, ensuring clarity on the fee structure. We explored major changes, such as the shift from the computer-based test to the offline OMR sheet format. We also discussed the unchanged aspects like the consistent syllabus and the absence of negative marking, empowering you to approach the exam confidently. Furthermore, we have elaborated on the examination pattern, the medium of the question paper, eligibility criteria and age limit and relaxation. Friends, thorough preparation and staying updated are key to excelling in the UGC NET June 2024 exam. Now, armed with all these information, you are well prepared to tackle the UGC NET exam with confidence. Remember, stay focused, keep calm and trust your preparation. And if you ever need further assistance or guidance, feel free to ring us on the number displayed on screen. So with that said, best of luck on your UGC NET journey. We believe in you and we know you have got what it takes to succeed. Thank you for watching. Till the time we meet next, happy learning, keep loving literature and stay tuned to arpitakarva.com.